I'm Dan Hamilton and I'm a third year apprentice. I'm Taylor Lightborn and I'm a fourth year apprentice and this is the 1942 MGB 81. After fitting the hull frames, which you can see in part two, fitting hull frames, it was time to begin fitting the new box stringers, longitudinals and bunk fronts. The existing stringers and longitudinals were originally butted up against bulkheads and were screwed through with aluminium angle and fitted in place. We have now cut through the bulkhead and fitted each stringer together in the middle with a scarf joint to make four longer 23 foot stringers rather than eight 11 foot 6 inches box stringers. The ends are also now let into the bulkhead to create a mortise. Quite clearly, once a frame or two started to delaminate owing to excessive stress, others nearby took the toll and then the more movement there was, the more frames became dislodged, allowing moisture to wend its way in and to rot. All of these changes will make her more structurally sound and far more rigid, hopefully negating the need for another refit soon. This was a more difficult job than originally planned. Four 14 foot 6 inch beams were passed down through the forward hatch and along onto the starboard side. But, as expected, the pivot point was too tight for the port side pair, which were returned on deck to eventually pass freely through a hole cut by us in both the forward midship bulkheads to fit into the port cabin. A shipwright's job is never easy. The challenge here was to again get the materials through the forward hatch into each room. These were glued onto the backs of the main bench frames, wedged from below with wooden wedges, in keeping with the way she had been finished throughout the entire boat and finally screwed into place. The top was planed off for a smooth finish ready for the bench tops to be added. Don't forget to watch out for part four where we will be fitting the bunk structure and webs. Yeah. 